Hello world, I'm Adstrom the Psycho and we're... I'm gonna... Hopefully I don't get interrupted this time. I did do some stuff off screen. Um, I hope this doesn't do anything. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why does it always pause right there? Don't you fucking do this. Why, why is the Wi-Fi being a bitch? I gotta check something. Hello? Okay, yeah, it's still working. So, this episode I'm going to, um, and, alright, fine, fuck it. Mercenary work? It might suit you. I work with my mother. Sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most of This episode I'm actually gonna finally go up to the graveyards. I work for Bellathor at the general goods store. And then oh I can check my inventory real quick. Yeah, I'm good. Hello, Diggers. His name is Diggers. He is from the creature. So, um... Let's go to Iverstead. Hermes Mora. Actually, we got started on... What? Hang on. Yeah, I gotta check the quests. Got accidentally started this one, but who cares? Turn that one. Oh, I can't see you, Raider. I can't find you. Why are you hiding? Hiding? Hide, hide, hide. Don't make me sad. Ah, oh, this poor guy. And I got no Raider was here and gone. Went to gather plants and never came home. Nope. nope. Everyone looked and no one could find her. Wilhelm said she'll be back. Told Harvey not to worry. Raider will come back. With father, I said goodbye. With mother, I say goodbye. Raida leaves, and Narvi can't say goodbye. Makes Narvi very, very sad. Narvi. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Oh, uh, don't worry, it Narvi. I'll go find her sister. I know where exactly where she is. First of all, I'm gonna ask about her first. And I've got no one watching. All right, then. You don't look like a... Klimic brings food. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know Harder too much about Mandor. them. 
Would you care to hear we me say We don't get my many visitors through here. Unless... Ah, he's harmless. He's been in a state ever since his sister Raida disappeared over a year ago. He just keeps to himself in what's left of his folks' farmhouse across the river. Okay. I just said that to make the poor guy feel better. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Oh, she is. Raida would gather ingredients from the small island in the river east of here. Then one day, she just vanished. I tried to look for her, but she never turned up. All right. I heard tell of a lad in Windhelm, Aventus Aretino. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament, trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. Oh, yeah, I will talk to that again. Stop by for a drink. Myself. If you fancy a bit of me... Need something? No, I don't need anything. I'm just looking. Now, we're gonna go look for Raiden's remains. Let's see, a small island east of here? She'd gather from there. Well... Hello, dead body. What the? <laughs> Poor Narfi's gonna hate this. Well, he needs to know the truth. at this, please. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I can. Yep. Yay, I don't have to waste arrows on this anymore. Wait, no, I did. Now, where's your eggs? Damn it. Egg got away. Or it didn't give the eggs at all. All right. Narfi, where are you? Sorry, buddy. Oh, my favorite drinking buddy. Let's. Oh no, 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 no. Narfi never got to say goodbye. Now, no. At least Narfi has Raida's necklace. Reminds Narfi of his sister. Thank you for giving this to Narfi. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, he gave me a human heart. That's a ingredient in alchemy, but human heart? Really? Right, I'll go up to High Rothgar when I find this guy I need, I, want to, I need to get something from. I don't need to, but I want to. You ever settle down? They call it the path to the Monastery to 7,000 Steps. I'm not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion. It's not a thousand, it's actually... Heard there. Where were you going? The Greybeards. I heard they lived their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you consider joining up myself. Hey, if they were to talk, they would blow, they'd blow the person to pieces. Where's the person I talked to to get the supplies? I gotta take it. I'm tempted to actually go to that barrel first, but... I really, I the gods know. gave you two hands, and you used them Where's both Clem for Mac? your weapon. I can respect that. inside
pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my lute? No thanks, I'm looking for Clemec. Come on. The Imperialists think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of that. The Imperials think we need their laws. Hello, man. Here for work? Get an axe and break. This has to be the worst place in Skyrim to run a mill. How am I supposed to do it? My business is falling apart. My apprentice never. If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead lost. Are you kidding? Those... Tell you what. Bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the... Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits. Mark, it's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right size. Cost me too much time and money. All right, well, I, bears are a pain enough, and there's some over there already. I'll get rid of them. Let me find some next. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. Dalol, late and barely cut butter. All right, while I wait for Clemek to show his face, I shall go through this barrel. Now, here's the thing. There's rumor of ghosts in here because of whatever. We'll find out why. There's a guy in here who is actually tricking everyone into thinking there's ghosts. Just so we can find the treasure of this place. But... Ghost. Nah. Already had it, apparently. them both open, haha. -ha. I'm just gonna walk back this. All done. Hello. It will not go off because I don't have, because I have. But it will go off when you walk over it, little buddy. I think you can't get hurt. I'm gonna have to make sure I go through, go over pressure plate long before Diggers does. Excuse me, Diggers. Come 
Come on, buddy. I see the trap it would have set off. Those things would have breathed fire. <laughs> ah. We have to kill him for something. Oh, right. No, no, no. Actually, I understand what to do now. Yeah, I didn't lose. Oh, shit. Are you serious? He is not that strong. He cannot be that strong. Game, come on. Filter of the family. This is how he looked like a ghost. And we're gonna read his journal. Morning star. AT Morning Star. I've set up camp inside the barrel. This has to be the place. According to all of my research, the burial chamber should be located here. All I need is some time undisturbed to find the claw. It must be hidden here somewhere. Had a close call today with that fool Wilhelm, he came close to entering the barrel, but I was able to scare him off by rattling some pottery shards in a bag. These people are too are far too superstitious for their own good. Gives me an idea. After a few failures, I've come up with a mixture that should do the trick. The glow is perfect. I should look exactly like one of the supposed spirits of the the people of Iverstead believe is haunting this barrel. Going to test out tomorrow. Success! It worked. Better than I could have imagined. All I had to do was was wander about the entrance to the barrel at night and wave my arms about. I had to stop myself from laughing aloud as they ran away. This should keep them at bay while I continue searching for the claw. 11th of Hearthfire. Almost half a year has passed and no sign of the claw or any clues as to its whereabouts. This is becoming maddening. It has to be here. I can't risk hiring any assistance, so I'll have to continue alone. 4E200. 20th Sun's Dusk. It isn't here. It can't be here. This isn't right. It must be the people of Iverson. They must be on my onto my ruse. And they're toying with me. They want to find the burial chambers on their own and keep the riches for themselves. Why? Why are they tormenting me? Why not just destroy me? I'm... Who am I? My head is becoming clouded. I can't remember anything. I have to read my journal to remember my purpose. Am I a part of this tomb? Am I meant to guard it? What's becoming of me? 